Hey, what's going on the run? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the Daily Lost Sector again. This time we have Bunker E15, we got Barrier Overload, the Trek being void, and the Shields being void. We are here in Europa, up here. So, pretty close to the landing zone. And today we're rocking something a little bit different as was being on a different character. We're on a Warlock today. Uh, we're rocking the Riptide for the Chill Clip. That's going to help us with the overloads. We have the Polaris Lands, which is going to help us with the uh, barriers. Just because of the Radiant. We're, we're pretty much just fully relying on Radiant uh, with this thing. And then we have an Apex because it's good. And it's also more uh, overloads. For the Surges, we have Grenade Launcher Surge, Solar Surge, and Stasis Surge. So pretty much the same thing we've been seeing all over the place. But let's get started with the legend all right here we go and as soon as we spawn there's gonna be a champion around here if i do not yep it's an overload so we just hit it boom boom the rockets bro the rockets the rockets are great oh those shots bro those shots they hurt <laughs> they hurt when they hit you directly this one guy, yep, this one guy right here. Let's just take him out. And this, I'm just gonna tell you right away, is a really good lost sector to farm, especially when you do like maybe a flawless run on uh on master. Because you have all these uh AI that help you. The homies. These guys. They no like take aggro, they shoot the enemies. They're really good. They're really helpful, especially at the end. <laughs> I always, I always tell the story about back with Beyond Light release. Um, I was looking for some of the new exotics. These guys are the ones that got me through this lost sector specifically. Even when it was like super low on like power level, these guys got me through it. You know, so they're they're always the homies. They are the homies. It's so easy to proc Radiant with the with the Polaris, man. It's crazy. Alright, so let's get those guys out. Shoot the bots so they you know they, they start roaming around and killing things. And like I said, they grab the aggro from the enemies uh, pretty well as well. I think there's yep, just one more up there. We got them out. You definitely want to take out this thing as soon as you can. There should be a champion right here now. It's going to be like a barrier. I do not see it though. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? He's right there. We're going to get this guy before we get the champion. Put that down. And now we gotta let the champion have it. The radium, bro. The radium is too good. The radium is too good. Because of radiant, we don't really have to worry too much about uh, barrier. Just because radiant is just that good this this season. You know, you could always run the the wish in there. The Ariana, the RB, you know, they're the usual suspects for anti-barrier. Because they do do it better. Well, you could definitely get away with just running up Polaris. Sorry about that. I am back. Sad to stop for a, for a second. But not you guys didn't miss anything. I just been killing the ads. I was just Nicole, uh, so I kind of wanted to like not record that. <laughs> uh, but here you go. Once we get started with the boss, you gotta be careful. You wanna be careful with the boss. I only have 42 resilience because I put on the wrong build. Because I am, I am a dum dum sometimes. So this guy is easier. When you have more resilience, you know, actually, we do have this though. 
which gives a bit extra resilience. Once we do enough damage, it's gonna spawn some champions. I think it's two overloads, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's one overload. So that's one overload. There should be one more. Uh, this is like the best spot to be if you want to just be safe about it. This corner is great for staying alive. And the boss doesn't even pay too much attention to you because it's usually like focus on the uh, the other ads. Not really the ads, but oh no, <laughs> he moved. Oh, oh, he's right here. Oh no, oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna keep shooting him. It didn't show that he... Oh, he moved again over there. But yeah, see this, this place is pretty safe. He will turn around and shoot you every once in a while, so you just gotta keep in mind that you know that, that is a possibility. And here comes the second. I guess I didn't need that. But yeah, there's two overload minotaurs, so be careful with them. Mm, I guess we can just kill him with the Nova. Because we're pretty much good to go. Alright, there we go. And that is the legend. Not a bad one, like I said, these guys put in the work, bro. These guys put in the work, so they, they distract the balls, they distract a lot of their ads. So then you could stay safe over here and pretty much just uh, be good. <laughs> Not too many like barriers, that's why I wasn't super like worried about bringing in barrier. But, you know, you want to bring something like the bow, the Ariana, the RB, then you could definitely bring it on. You just destroy the barriers and pretty much everything else when it comes to the wish in there. But now let's go over to the master run. All right, we're here on the master, and now we actually have a hundred uh, resilience, so we won't be as squishy as we used to be. But now enemies do more damage, so maybe it won't seem even that big of a difference. <laughs> but let's hit this guy. Boom, bro. Rockets. Overload rockets. They're just... They're just something. <laughs> they're just something. We're pretty much gonna use the same uh, places and strategies we used on the Legend. Alright, let's break the homies out. Be free, homies, be free! We just kind of be a little bit. We just kind of have to be a little bit safer, like uh, at the boss fight, like, because the boss does kill us faster. Um, just because he does more damage. So that's like the only thing that I would worry about. I think we do have the stag, so putting down the rift gives us even more damage. Uh, so you want to go for a safe exotic on your warlock? The stag is not bad. That also gives you back a bunch of uh, riff energy whenever you get, you know, close to death. So it's a very good survivability uh, type of exotic. Look at that. That guy is just shooting me constantly. I don't even feel it. Those guys are shooting me constantly. I don't even feel it. Okay, my riff is gone. I'm about to feel it. <laughs> but when my riff was there, I didn't feel Oh, yeah. Let's pretend I didn't do that. Alright, let's get the homies out. We got the riff again. Oh, there's that guy right there. I'm gonna take him out where he's going all crazy. Drop another one of these so we can be safe. Let's 
break the homies out. Alright, the homies are out. Now let's just deal with some of these uh, barriers. Alright. Well, I was just missing everything. No, it's just one of those days. There you go. <laughs> now we're hitting. Now we're hitting. Now we're really doing it. Now the guy's shooting me, which is not ideal. But it's okay. We got it, we got it. The fire got him down. Look at that. The homies killed him. Alright, move on. Move on, boys. We're going in. Look at this. I, I love this. Right here, we got like all this, this little army. This little army coming in. <laughs> you know, this has to be like probably my favorite loss like there, man. Just because of the, the homies being here. So funny. So fun. We're not going to deal with the Wyvern. We're just going to take it out. Or not. <laughs> or not. There you go. Thankfully, the Wyvern doesn't respawn or anything like that. So. We don't really have to deal with, like, multiple Wyverns. Alright, let's get out of here. I think now there's three overloads in this area. Instead of the the two, one of them appears here at the beginning, as you saw from the side. You said an uh, an enemy has appeared. Oh, he's coming this way. There we go one. We're just gonna hit him with one. We have a little conservative with our rockets. We could hit this guy. Now, because, oh, he is looking at us. Yep. You have to be double careful, because, you know, you don't heal unless you have some of those, uh, those things that I always forget the name of. Restorative lights on the ground. Oh, no, he's killing me. Ah, oh, since we're at Warlock, we just, like, sidestep that whole mechanic. <laughs> Warlocks, baby. Warlocks. We're actually gonna know this guy. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was very dangerous. I didn't think he was gonna turn around. That he was distracted. I would definitely recommend for you to wait for the champion to go around this corner and then kill him, so something like that doesn't happen. <laughs> Cause that was uh, that was pretty dangerous. That was pretty reckless. If you're going for like the flawless, definitely don't do that. Um. Because if I didn't get out, out of there in time, he definitely would have killed me. Right, there's one more champion. I saw him. He's on the left. But I'm going to shoot the, the boss a little bit. Remember, when you are radiant, you could just straight up shoot through his barriers. So you could, like, when he doesn't have this barrier, shoot him. Get your radiant. And then you just keep, just keep shooting him. Keep shooting him through the barriers. Alright, where's that champion? I'm actually kind of getting worried now. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Alright, let's get him over here. Uh, does he not want to come over here? Oh my god, he's aggro is really over there. Alright, you know, we'll just get him over there. One, two, there we go. Oh, there's, there's four champions, not three. Okay, so there's one more. He's right there. Yeah, they're all overloads. This, this Lost Sector is mostly... Overloads. There, there's not a lot of like. Oh, I ran out. There's not a lot of like uh, barriers in this lost sector. And I think that's it actually. I think we could go for the kill on this guy. Now put that just in case. He doesn't want to look at us. All right. Well, if he's not really looking at us, if he's just looking at the the ads. I always keep calling them the ads, but no. 
He's looking at the at the homies, <laughs> the NPCs. Let me just like go around and you shoot him in the back. I didn't even kill him. They did. <laughs> there we go. Depending how safe you want to be is the pe is like how fast you can finish this last sector. You can do it faster than the seven minutes that we did it. You can do it a little slower, but make sure that you are, uh, you know, get that flawless if you're going for the flawless lost sectors. Just kind of depends on this boss room on how safe or dangerous you wanna you want things to get, I guess. But yeah, that that's it. That is it for the master lost sector. Good luck, guys. If you guys are farming for a specific exotic, hope you get it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.